There is another generation of the body of Christ. The latter day generation. The remnant church. They will be baptized with the fire. Because this is the glory fire. And the generation of the believers that will be glorified. There cannot be the glory of God on this generation. Not until we are willing to embrace the dealings of the spirit as fire. The fire of tribulation. The fire of holiness. The fire of God. does not count. When you buy an egg, what do you eat from the egg? The yolk. What do you do to the, the shells? Throw it away. The real part of man is the soul. That's why the body easily dies. Because they don't know that the life of the body is the soul. The life of the body is the mind. The body is, is completely at the mercy of the mind. So you focus a lot on the body, but, 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 but you have less focus on the mind. Now let me tell you what happens. In the realms of God, imagination is movement. Imagination is movement. Are you with me? Imagination is what? Movement. Thoughts or thinking is word. Conversation is made by thinking, thinking, thinking. Imagination is movement. You don't understand how these things work in the, in the realms. As he thinketh, so is he. The Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. It means that there is a, a certain dimension that captures another reality of your existence that you have not seen. Did you get that now? So sometimes we are so limited in this illusion as, as, as I often call it. Let me conclude with this. Every time you are thinking, you are talking. And every time you are imagining, you are moving. So if your imagination is upward, You'll be going upward in the physical dimension very soon. If your imaginations are downward, if your imaginations are captured in fear, timidity, your life will be enveloped, will be, you know, caught up in everything that your imaginations have released. There is a power in you that do it what you think. To him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think according to the power. What's the power? The power of the mind. The power in your mind. 
One is geared towards transportation. Are you with me, so so good? And the other is geared towards expression, like words, verbal expressions. And guess what? 90% of the times, our thinking line is words said to entities beyond here. Every time you think, you are talking. When the Bible says that every word of a man shall be given account of, which word? Not your verbal words, your thinking line. For I know the words that I say toward you. Say something. Thank you. I was waiting for somebody to say that. For I know the words that I say toward you. Just say no. For I know the words that I say toward you. Oh, come on. For I know the thoughts that I think toward many for I know the word is these are words is it thoughts are captured in the realms when you're thinking you are speaking and when you're speaking the words are held to manifest in the physical so that's what the, the Bible says as he thinketh so is he so we have not been told of so now, if you understand the power of your thoughts, that there are creatures in the heavenlies, in the thoughts realm, that are geared to hear your thoughts. And their assignment by God is to bring to manifestation your thoughts. They don't Verbal words, verbal expression is not for spirits. It's not for God. It's, it's, it. Listen, verbal expression is for humans. Never for spirits. It, it, in fact, your words, the current word you are going to say tomorrow is already in the past tense. Because what you're speaking already has already been said and conceived in your heart. The Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So the mouth is already speaking that which had already been verbalized in the thinking line. It's important to learn this. Couple of years ago, when I captured this reality, I began to take care of my thoughts. If you dwell on something for long, you will become daffing and you'll see that thing come to pass. I don't care who you are. If you, if, if you put your thought on something for a long time, you begin to vibrate energies and frequencies in the realms that will capture the manifestation of what you've been thinking over, over the years. You become a manipulator. You become a witch. You become a wizard if those thinking are contrary to God's word. That's why the Bible says one of the works of the flesh is witchcraft. Witchcraft. And this works of the flesh are, are, are in believers. Witchcraft. There are so many witches in church without knowing. If, if I can get into your thinking line, your imagination is a projection. Now, that's why the way to traffic heaven is to obtain the mind of Christ. Imagine 
When you have the mind of Christ, your thoughts are the words of God. You're conversing with God. Your imaginations are transportation into the realms and presence of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, sons of God. That's, that's, that's where we ought to dwell. Where no corruption has access into your consciousness. So in the realm of God, they talk with thinking. They converse with thoughts, not with words. In the realm of God, they move by imagination. I want to specially invite every one of you to please join me on our YouTube account, um, Facebook account, Instagram account, and every possible social media. We're there. Pastor John Anosike. Hallelujah. Please join me. You will be blessed this year. So much revelations, so much visions, so much word, so much healing and miracles and manifestations and ascension into the realms of God should be your witness this year. Guess, guess what? God is about to do amazing things this year. So join me on all of our social platforms and you will be blessed, especially YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok and every other ones, and God bless you. Join us for worship every Sunday. First service, 7 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Second service, 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. School of Revelation, our Bible study at 6 p.m., a time of in-depth study of God's Word. It's time to come to the knowledge of truth and grow in revelation with the bondservant of Christ, John Anosike. Healing Nights with Jesus, every Tuesday at 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. An atmosphere of miracles where the man of God takes time to minister to different cases. Christ remains the solution to every problem of man. Venue, 416 Vortrekker Road, Maitland, Cape Town, South Africa. Telephone, plus 2721-510-4029. WhatsApp, plus 27 six three four two three five eight nine five